But you guys got the biggest changes for Windows 11 on this latest release from Microsoft, Windows 11 22H2. That's what we're going to be taking a look at in this video. And I'll give you some of the best features for this version of Windows. As you can see, I've already updated uh, to 22H2. The build number is there on the screen. So first, I'm just going to quickly go to the Windows Update section to make sure there is no more available updates. There was one little small update which added the tabs feature inside the uh, file explorer, which I'll show you in a second. But first off, in the menu system, you can now drag and drop these icons into little groups, into a folder, and then you can rename that folder to whatever uh, name you like. So all you need to do here is click on this, and you can see here, edit name, change this to, say, for instance, office, and this will be all your office programs in one location very useful and it's about time they started to add features like this we knew these features were coming because of the pre-releases that people were testing but basically it's now official and it has now been released to the general public now all we need to do now is move to the front if you want to and we can also go down to the recommended section and launch start settings from here this will take us to the new personalization uh, start options here which we can add more pins to uh, the menu if we wish by clicking on this option here if you want to pin more of those to the start menu or you can add to the default settings or more recommendations is on here we can just literally add the more recommendations part underneath here you've got your little rocker buttons here to toggle on for certain other features if that's what you want to enable you can do but that is uh, the new overall of the start menu from Microsoft for this particular build. Let's move on to the next one here. I'm just going to go down here and show you what it looks like with more pins here. You can see we can add more applications to the front menu if you want to. Next up, it's that tab feature, which everyone was talking about for many, many months, has now been officially released by Microsoft, as you can see here. This is going to be great for multitaskers who like to have more than one window open at a time. And these can be separated and you can do multiple windows at any one time here. So very useful feature, the uh, multi-tab feature here. We can add more tabs to the Explorer section. Pretty nice. Moving on to the update here. Just wanted to show you here the update for Microsoft Windows. This was the extra one that added the tabs in. Uh, if you get the official 22H2, it might not have the tabs feature just yet until they release that little update there. Now, sadly, on this version, uh, my little drag and drop feature does not work. So maybe it's a bug. I've noticed a few people complaining about it. So I will need to take a look at that and investigate that further. Apparently, they did fix it, uh, but now it looks like it's broken again. So we can see here. Uh, in the task manager, that's had also a remake. You've got a nice a black backdrop here. And also you get access to all of your areas here where you can get access to your GPU, CPU, memory disk, and stuff like that. Give you much more nice information on here, much more nicer layout. So it's about time they give this a little bit of a remake or makeover. And again, another added feature for this really is the, you can right click on one of these here. And when you right click on one of them, it gives you access to this menu here. But one of the actual added features is the efficiency mode. You may see uh, an efficiency mode when you right click on one of these processes. If you look here, I'll quickly right click here and you should see efficiency mode. And when you go in here, it's going to say efficiency mode will lower the processing priority and improve power efficiency, but may cause instability for certain processes. Do you want to continue? Basically, there used to be a little area where you could just either make it high, uh, medium or low, uh, but that's the new feature. This is another little added feature on here as well, which means you can drag any window up the top here and choose where you want to drop it. And it will give you a bunch of presets here, which you can choose from. Again, if you like this sort of thing, then it's really going to be up your street. But if it's me, I'm just going to be disabling that sort of feature because I have no use for it on a dual monitor setup. Um, but yeah, that's uh, that feature there on multitasking. You could just turn it off there if you don't want to use that particular feature in settings. We're just going to go into here and into uh, display here. Let me go into display and then we'll come down a little bit to where it says graphics inside here. 
we'll go to change default graphics settings and again optimizations for windowed games and it just tells you that it can reduce latency uh, use advanced features in compatible games by using this uh, feature here so if you want to use that you can turn this on more about optimizations for windowed games and you can uh, have a look at it there I'm not sure how good this is it needs testing I haven't tested this yet but basically that is a new feature here uh, the context menu is pretty much the same it hasn't changed yet that is still uh, a little bit of a an eyesore for me but if you hold the shift key down and right click on one of these applications you do get access to the old style menu here if you want to get quick access to it so hold the left shift key down and right click on your uh, folder or application it will give you access to it if you want to change to the old style context menu you can go into uh, a terminal window here and paste in this command here and basically push enter you may need to restart or re-log into windows or restart the explorer service here i'll quickly show you because it won't show up here so let me quickly just restart uh, explorer by going into task manager here and we'll just quickly come down and we'll restart explorer so we should see it down here somewhere there it is right click restart and we should now have the old style context menu, which I think is a lot better. You don't need any sort of programs or anything like that to get this menu up. Um, but that is how you can do that. Moving into the settings pane here and going down to accessibility. Uh, inside here, we have another feature which was uh, previously talked about in other videos. So I just wanted to quickly touch on it here, which is the captions here live captions audio and video will be captured live on the screen uh, when you press the windows key plus control plus l to turn the live captions on so that's basically how that works it's another feature you can toggle that on or off whether that's useful to you or not will be determined whether you want to have it on or off i could see some use to it but personally i will uh, be leaving that feature off myself so let's move on to uh, one more uh, thing here. I think we've got another thing that we can take a look at. They have got some other things coming. Um, so I don't know when these will be rolled out. They're not all on here. I'm not sure what's going on here. This was supposed to be uh, added to this build where you could drag things into here, but I'm still getting a, a, a disabled um, icon on there. So I'm not sure what is going on here. I'll need to look into it. I've seen other people complaining about it. But other than that, that is the best features for Windows 11 22 H2. Should you upgrade to 22 H2, that is going to be completely up to you. If you're on Windows 10 and you're happy using Windows 10, by all means, stay there. You don't have to upgrade to Windows 11. Uh, Windows 10 has still got a fair bit of time on it. Windows 11, again, is still a little bit in uh, the sort of building phase really they're still adding features to it and fixing things so it's entirely up to you whether you roll out an upgrade to windows 11. Uh, some people uh, have been using it for a while like myself just because i make youtube content and i need to keep relevant uh, with all the latest features and and gadgets so i need to keep up to date and that is the reason why i have it on this system again i will go through the pain so you don't have to if you don't want to upgrade to that latest version of windows you can bypass it and wait for windows 12 apparently windows 12 is just around the corner anyway my name is brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk hope this video has been some sort of use to you i just want to say a quick shout out to all my youtube members and uh, i shall catch you in the very next video have a lovely weekend uh, bye for now